Sunday morning, the 11th of June, 2023. This is another one of that to rip the band-aid off skid marks of mine. And this one is a message specifically to Afri Forum and Solidarity. For years and years, they have been fighting for our rights and they've been fighting against discrimination. And they did a good job. But they were also the guys that invested a lot in trying to get our plight to the attention of the big global organizations, the UN, and the Human Rights Council, and things like that. And I have done skid marks about, in which I have talked about it and mentioned it. To me, I have been the, of the opinion that they are actually just making a hell of a lot of dust and driving nowhere. Because just look at the reality. It was these global operators together with the West that destroyed our country, that placed us as whites and specifically Afrikaners in the position where we are. So going to them for assistance is like there's a big bully that is bullying you and then you go to him and ask him to help you against him so in short you want him to fight himself it's never going to work that kite's not going to fly but life is weird actually life offers opportunities and sometimes the opportunity is really an opportunity of, the, of a lifetime. Now, the reality is that the real war is between BRICS and the G7, where the G7 is basically the West. And it is common knowledge. The Americans has captured the UN and everything that goes with it. And together with their Western allies, they get those organizations to do what they want them to do or allow the West to do what they want to do. Now, the upcoming BRICS conference is a major problem for the West. BRICS is basically the nuclear bomb that's going to destroy the Western grip, evil grip on the world. That, nobody can deny it. We can already see the signs of the Western Empire crumbling. Now, the West is going to try to derail that conference because this conference is a major conference for the following reasons. First of all, this is the conference that are going to bring in the new BRICS applicants. And all of a sudden, there will be no longer five members in BRICS, but 24 or 30 or whatever. And among those new applicants are some powerful players. Powerful in the sense that they represent a large population and they represent a lot of economic activity. Most important is BRICS is creating the tools to destroy the sanctions stranglehold that America specifically can exercise on the rest of the world. Because BRICS is allowing countries, member countries, to trade with one another, ignoring the sanctions. And they do it they started off by doing it by trading in local currencies. And we all know that BRICS is now working on a BRICS currency that will be backed by tangible stuff. Oil, gold, grain, things like that. 
That is a nightmare for the Americans. They don't have an answer for it. Because their paper dollar is going to evaporate. So, the upcoming BRICS conference is a nightmare for the West. And they will try everything to derail the thing. The ICC warrant against Putin was just one of their plans to derail the conference. Because by keeping Putin away from the conference, they will dilute the impact of that conference. So, but here in the background, let's look at this. Die getuie in die openbare mening draai. Die waarheid van die raswet en die relaties raak nou al duideliker. Dis ideologies en ver van die waarheid. Dis gevaarlik as ideologie wet word. And this is from Dirk Herman. And he says that this racist, racist laws that the ANC is implementing in South Africa is dangerous because it's ideology. And when an ideology becomes law, it is brutal. We've had the same situation that are brewing around the water rights, where your skin color will dictate what water you can get. Ridiculous stuff. And I want solidarity and Afri Forum to listen carefully. The West is determined to derail BRICS. Because they have realized BRICS is the nuke that's going to wipe them out commercially. So, we have seen how devious they can be in their propaganda machines. I mean, just look at what they did to us with the pestilence. Look at what they're doing in the Ukraine war. They are feeding millions of lives into that war machine. And those guys that are jumping in are under the impression they can win. And I have done a skid mark about it. You can go and read on it. The fact of the matter is they are being brainwashed to believe something that is not going to happen. That is not true. Now, I have a funny feeling that the next, not the next, but in the future, and in the near future, because the BRIC conference is in August, the West are going to start with a propaganda campaign attacking the members of BRICS. And what is their favorite weapon when they want to start shit with a country? Human rights. They start with that, because that is the trigger for the NGOs to start the color revolutions in those countries. Now, if Solidarity and Afri Forum look carefully, all these race, racist, racist laws and acts, if it is condensed, it is a destruction of our human rights. Remember that. Russia has been bombarded with propaganda about how bad the Russian system is for the citizens and the people don't have freedom for this and freedom for that and they can't do this and they can't do that, which is total bullshit. They do the same with China and I'm going to do a skid mark on China. They're doing the same to China. They make you believe the Chinese are communists and the people in China don't have a say. The Chinese are focused on countering that, but they have the problem that they are faced with this massive propaganda machine of the West. The same with the Russians. They want us to believe the Russians are a backward nation that lives in caves and in rock huts, which is total nonsense. We all know that. Now, where is there an easier and item with a lot of evidence, horrific evidence, about human rights violations than in South Africa with 
the brutal farm owners and expropriation without compensation and water allocations according to race and job allocations according to race and access to the economy according to race. It is a honey pot that the West can use liberally if they start a campaign under the flag of BRICS members are human rights violators. The aim of that campaign is to make these countries that are not part of BRICS yet scared of BRICS. I don't know if it will succeed, but it's going to create a hell of a nice show. So if Solidarity and Afri Forum is clever, they preempt the West now. Take that concept that I've been talking about now and go to Putin. Go to Putin. Tell him. This is the next weapon they're going to use against BRICS. You must help us with this. Trust me. If Putin picks up the phone and calls Cyril and tells him that shit must stop. It will stop overnight because the ANC cannot afford to lose the support of the Russians. They cannot afford to lose that support. The Russians I am of the opinion that the Russians are tolerating them because they are the government of South Africa. But the, government, the Russians don't agree with them. So, Solidarity and Afri Forum, you be the sparks to light the fire between Russia and the ANC. This is your opportunity. This is your chance. Don't be slow. That is my message to you today. Do not miss this opportunity. Think about it. Think about it. Be careful. You've seen this message that I saw last night about the DA is now suddenly calling for a commission of inquiry into farm matters. Well, it's a bit late. I mean, it's been going on for 25 years and now all of a sudden they're trying this. What are they doing? They are trying to open a door for them into the farming community because, as it is, the farmers don't like the DA. Due to many reasons. And the DA is supporting BEE and they're supporting this gay stuff and all of that. Things that are totally against the grain of conservative Afrikaners. So I think this is more smokescreen than anything else. But the potential for a PR disaster if the West starts using our misery as a weapon against BRICS is real. And if you are clever, you're going to jump and preempt them and get this message under the attention of Putin with this underlying message that the West is going to use this against him and against BRICS. Think about it. That's all I'm asking. Think about it. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.